Welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skeleton. How are you my dear learners? In this video we are going to talk about the difference between thematic and content analysis in a qualitative study. As you know, in my previous video, I have discussed about the thematic analysis in more detail. The video link is given here in, the, in this video description box as well. Today, we are going to talk about the difference between thematic and the content analysis using an example as well. So, let's talk about first the thematic analysis and the content analysis. Both the things are part of the qualitative research method. Okay, qualitative research method. And these are the, these are using for analyzing textual or visual data for example in-depth interview focus group discussion okay and also structured and opinion based questions okay so their objective process and outcomes are a little bit different and what are those differences we are going to talk about here first of all what is the objective of thematic analysis if you look at the value of the thematic analysis over here we will understand that the main idea of thematic analysis is to identify and interpret patterns of meaning and especially the theme of the qualitative data. When we are talking about the theme, we used to apply the coded theme approach. So there will be a coded theme. For example, if you have a questionnaire and there are, might be five or six questions and you can divide these five or six questions under two or three different themes. So that is the thematic analysis first approach and it depends on the underlying concepts and ideas of the data. On the other hand, content analysis will be aiming for a quantifying, remember my dear learners, quantifying the content of the data. I mean, what is the frequency of the data who actually opposes your opinion of that particular question or what are the frequency of the respondent or participant against or for the motion of your question. So it is more focuses on objectively describing and analyzing the surface level characteristics of the data. So in other words, we can say the aesthetic nature of the analysis. Okay. So you might ask me the question, okay, what is aesthetic nature? Aesthetic nature meaning that what are the values, characteristics, numbers, mostly frequencies and how many people said that, how many people oppose that, how many people for this motion and what are the opposing opponents numbers. All these things when you quantify according to your themes or the questions of the questionnaire, then we are talking about the content analysis okay the next thing is uh, you can see here the thematic analysis typically involves on iterative or inductive approach what is inductive approach it is more kind of a coded and category based on the emergent themes remember my dear learners it is very important that we understand the thematic analysis is more or less category based and it has also interestingly focusing on the coded themes it allows the flexibility and exploration of data to capture the richness and complexity of the participants experience remember experience meaning that let's assume that if you say that okay how do you think that the social media platform is influencing the education system of the children in that case some respondent says their opinion and it is mostly an open-ended opinion based question so when you are talking about respondent one said that quote unquote this respondent two said that quote unquote that that will be the thematic analysis representation so there is a more flexibility and you are taking the respondents accurate information into your analysis where in the content analysis we are more talking about deductive approach or a structured approach so in this case researchers develop a coding scheme or set a predetermined categories remember categories before analyzing the data so those under those categories you can say how many people are saying that how many people are saying those it's kind of a frequencies that we're talking about and it is more a quantification of your information now talking about the data analysis how we are going to analyze the data in thematic and coded analysis so if we consider the data analysis part let's assume that we are considering the thematic analysis first so 
in thematic analysis it more focuses on the patterns as i told you earlier content analysis more involving in quantifying quantifying your data quantifying your data and categorizing the data based on the predefined codes or categories okay it's very important to mention the categories researchers systematically apply the codes to segments of the data to identify patterns and frequencies okay so it's more about the frequency and more about the numbers okay and finally data representation how we are going to represent our data for thematic analysis and for content analysis so if you want to do a thematic analysis your more more approach is to emphasizing capturing the richness of data through the narrative through the narrative description narrative description okay like i said that what respondent said what and uh, under the quoted quoted information or quoted sentences you mention about that respondent specifically and illustrate the quotes you see illustrate the quotes okay quoted information and narrative description descri description this is very important for thematic analysis data presentation data representation okay like visual representation like thematic map diagrams may also be used on the other hand content analysis data representation you are going to use content analysis focuses on summarizing and quantifying the data the findings are often presented in numerical or statistical formats such as tables graphs okay and to demonstrate frequencies or patterns within the data it may also include textual explanation or interpretation of the findings so this is the difference between thematic and content analysis in terms of their objective data analysis and data representations i'm going to share this a little uh, note in the video description box link you will get it very easily to understand what i'm trying to say so let's get exam take an example there is one topic that i i i gave my students to work with is called the impact of diversity and inclusion on employees performance in hospitality industry and this student has done a very good job with the help of the literature review and then thematic analysis and you see her thematic analysis which was given here the methodology you see the quantitative analysis a mixed method she used and then qualitative analysis thematic analysis and here you see the theme one positive impact of diversity and inclusion okay the respondents agreed that an inclusive workplace makes them feel included and conducted for and rather than neglected theme two personal advantages of being employed with an inclusive and diverse work package then theme three theme four likewise you can arrange the themes accordingly and give some explanation about the respondents and their quoted information okay on the other hand the content analysis here she says the content analysis was performed to identify the frequency of responses in each category as i told you that category is very important and the following table summarizes the frequency of responses for each category for instance category like positive impact of diversity and inclusion remember there is a one theme about that right you see here that the theme positive impact of diversity and inclusion this is the theme number one so this is my category number one number two is personal benefit of working in a diverse and inclusive workplace now in the thematic analysis we discuss about using the respondents quote and narrative description but in this content analysis we are saying how many respondents are in favor with the positive impact of diversity and inclusion okay so eight of them are in positive of impact of diversity they agrees with that particular theme okay so this is how you design the content analysis according to the categories and according to the number of respondent who agrees and disagrees with the content or categories of the theme okay and then after that you will explain that in a discussion part okay and you can link that discussion part for instance with the literature review or maybe you can link with the thematic part that you have found from the quote and with that note you can calculate can conclude the discussion part so in the part in in the briefly you can say the content analysis summary that the participants in a study acknowledge the positive impact of diversity and inclusion on the workplace and 
team performance but also recognize the challenges such as language barriers cultural insensitivity unconscious bias to address this issue they suggested measures such as conducting workshop forming committees providing training program and all those so you see you are this you are analyzing or interpreting your data based on this table which is represented under the category and this is also called the content analysis discussion on the other hand thematic analysis is more kind of a theme based and under the theme you may use respondents quote to justify the theme to support the theme so in final point i should say thematic analysis is more a verbal description on the other hand content analysis is more kind of a quantifying or giving some number to your description so with that note and with this example thank you so much my dear learners i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye